to introduce you to the Hanson Brothers, Victoria, B.C.'s hockey-loving musicians who took their name from the goon line in the Paul Newman film Slapshot. Former members of DOA, No Means No, and Showbiz Giants, the Hanson Brothers have released their first album, and they called it Gross Misconduct. It's a bunch of songs that hit you right in the face, like a runaway Zamboni. What the hockey you got to get out there every night you got to give 110 percent and that's our philosophy with uh with this whole you know punk rock thing you know we could make some money and you know we get a place down in florida i guess but um it's it's more or less the same thing you know you go out you you muck you grind you no Okay, now you guys have been described actually by some as hockey thugs. How do you feel about that? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. I go. I agree with that. Yeah. The difference between a hockey player and a thug like, is like, uh, the thug goes to jail and the hockey player makes a million dollars a year. Yeah, but um, well, we like, never got that, did we, Tommy? Yeah. No, because like a we're, goon. We're goombas mainly. Yeah. Uh, mainly goombas. The Hanson Brothers. This one's called A Night Without You. What the type of? A Goomba is, uh, is is a Lugan from Victoria. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's basically a Victoria kind of thing. It's like you know what a Lugan is? No. A Lugan no. is a combination of a loser and a hooligan. Yeah. Well, a Goomba's not really a Lugan, but you know, a Goomba is one of those guys that you know is just kind of a a screwball. You know, a screw up. He doesn't really fit in. No joy. Tell me about the CD. Uh, CD was recorded in a basement yeah. in a week. Two weeks. For twice the money we actually spent on it, but uh, that's what we got from the record company. <laughs> Didn't I mention no yeah. names? We got about um, $45,000 to make the record, <laughs> and the record cost about... Well, it didn't cost $45,000 to make. We spend most of the money on beer and pizza. Why would some record company let you guys make a record? Why would some record company make the bare naked ladies make a record? <laughs> the world spins round in a funny way. <laughs> now, how do you guys feel about being compared to the Ramones? Uh, well, there's really no comparison. I don't really understand. Um, I don't know where, where they come up with that connection. I mean, the, the, the Ramones are like four real dumb guys, and I just don't see the connection between us and them. Oh, like, uh, it's like, I don't see the connection. Well, there was a, a small similarity. There was a similarity with the covers there. It was a little bit similar, but, you know. Is there a rock and roll equivalent for the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Montreal? Rock and roll equivalent. Oh, Toronto Maple Leafs in Montreal. I don't know. That would be hard. like thinking the way these teams play and everything. Who would you compare them to musically? Yeah, I used to think about this for. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Could you rephrase yeah. the question? <laughs> Go burst it up, they're down across the line. The 
Game you can name, and the best game you can name.
motion No motion No motion No motion No motion No motion No motion
keep that chicken in the loo From Alphabet City to the borough of Queens He was the king of the punk rock scene Johnny Willie had it on his cheap guitar Jimmy was a pinner, he took it too far Joey liked the cake that simple and true He liked the sweet fairy out of you But I thought you had to see a girl the chicken saints of my own cow Toy jeans were worn out well I wish that you could sing forever Live forever Joey had to go He couldn't stay He had to get away Joey had to go Another lesson in the graceful and and subtle sport of ice hockey. Texas. What? Oh, I see we got some of them fucking football players here tonight. You know when you put on the shorts and go out on the grass? It's a fucking girl sport! And that is no offense to the women here tonight. No, there is only one sport really worth talking about. That is the sport of ice hockey. You know, we come over here, we come over here to the old world, and we talk about this new sport of ice hockey. And I look out into the audience and all I see is Blank faces staring at me, saying, what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah. You know what I see? I see a bunch of cockroach motherfuckers. All right. yeah, what, that, what is the name of the ice hockey team here? I hate fucking saying ice hockey. I'd say, I'm going to get this off my chest right now, Tommy. It is not ice hockey. It is hockey. That's it. No ice. Well, there is actually ice, and that's what the players are skating. Uh, forget it. I have now only... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 Ten words! I have ten words to say to you right now. After going over for 30, I am sick of love.
fucking done. Everybody that bird we saw today, we didn't want to get out of our bus. It was really big. I wouldn't, I wouldn't okay, go. Okay, look, Tommy, all right, that okay. One. That's good to go back to your amp, Tom. So, it, what? We just got back from Munich. Okay, okay. We'll talk about something else now. Shut up! If you took the feathers from that bird, you'd, every child would have a bag from him. We're going to talk about something else right now. We're going to talk about someone very near and dear to my heart. Someone who has brought all of us here together tonight. I know! You I know! No, 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 no. We'll get to him later. I'm going to talk about a man that's near and dear to all of your hearts. Very close. Very, very close to my heart. Very in, in close proximity to Tom's heart. It's located just below Ernie's heart. And he's found right here, just below the pancreas, beside the liver, right there in Robbie's, Robbie's appendix. I'm talking about the King of Queens. I'm talking about the King of Punk Rock. I'm talking about the late, the great, Joey Ramone!